Men's Six Nation just recently wrapped up, and the man, Andrew David Ford, just dropped a video on the best tackles from the entire tournament for this year, 2024. We're going to check that video out on this one, crew. If you enjoy this one, be sure to drop a like. Hit the sub. We see that 95% of you that watch our channel have yet to subscribe. It helps us out a lot to build valuable connections and to continue to make great rugby content as we fully transition into rugby. I love you, crew. Thank you for being here. Let's check out this video. Let's go. Massive shout out to Andrew Ford for creating another amazing compilation for us here to check out in the descriptions below. We have the link to his channel. Be sure to drop over there, give him a subscribe, and check out all the incredible content that he continues to create in this rugby space. Amazing compilations and a great guy. And I appreciate you, David, for letting us check out your videos. Crew, thank you for being here. Let's look at the best tackles in 2024 Guinness Six Nations. Y'all know I love defense, so I'm going to see it. It's a good hit. Whew, Sam Underhill. He had a pretty good tournament. To turn his back ball above his head. Last thing you want, and it's Underhill calling for extra defenders. I remember that one. That was a good one. Hugh Jones. He had a great tournament. Oh, good toe tap. That was a shoestring tackle. I love that. Lina had a tournament. That was his second cap. Yeah, oh no, it's his first cap. Duon held him up. There's a size difference. Oh! What a freaking hit! That was a good hit. Let me see. Look at it. Oh! That's a big man to hit there, too. Woo! Got his head on the outside of the hip. Drove with his left shoulder. You see his leg flew up in the air. That's the power. Mm, what a tackle. Mm. And it's another Sam Underhill thresher of a tackle. His penalty advantage looked to by Take France the Freeders. Yeah, that was that Bundy Aki tackle. That was that the last week. He did a really great job. He had a couple of those tackles. Here's win it again. Just delays that, pumps that pass and gives it to North. Just fought him on that. Oh, and in the back got his head behind him. So got injured. Men and cellos out. He's a strong guy in the center as well. There are two heavy figures meeting. I think those yeah, that's a big Minicello. The big hit. Good tackle more than anything. Oh! Head on the outside. Good tackle. Two big brutes going after one another right there. Chesham with a freaking hit. What up? I like that. Biel Biare. Look at him. Look the ball over. We'll go back. Look at him. He just looked at it and then just accelerated through the contact. I love that. Let's take a look. Look at him. Mm, pretty. See him? He's already he's already straying back because he sees what's happening. He knows what's going. He's tracking the ball right here. You see his eyes looking at the ball, but his body's going towards the wing. Oh, he's following it. Just look at the, just the way he's able to follow the ball because he could potentially get an interception right here, but he sees that it's a little too far. See how fast he turned his head. He got it off the swivel. He got down the line. Look at him get down the line and accelerate. Boom! Initiates contact. Head on the outside. Drives through and drives back. His Just his energy. That was a beautiful play that he made right there. Just continued to, dr to drive his feet. Went right through the man. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then he even gave up, gave himself up on that one and then got back on it to try to create a turnover. Wow. That was a nice tackle. A hit on the outside, Chesham. He's had two good tackles. He outside and just drove through. One of his opposite numbers, Chesham. Two tries already in this championship. Against the Yo, those low tackles, man. That's, it's good that... You know, y'all have grass over there because I've noticed a lot of our like massive knee injuries here in the in American football have come from that new astro turf that we have, that synthetic turf. It's like your cleats stick in that rubber, and guys are just blowing and shattering their freaking knees from that. So it's nice that your your cleats uh, give way to those uh, to the lower hits because that's a low hit right at the knee. French and the Italians heaving, committed. 
So yeah, mm. Look how low he is. He's at his knee level. That's a tough tackle, right? Because you can, if he, if the guy drives his knees high enough, he'll knock you out. Because he hits you with a, a knee to the head. But he's got, he played the position, got his head on the outside of that knee to avoid that, that contact on that hard, that hard patella. Now it's gone a little bit wider. Bundyak, he says, no, I'll straighten first. There's Costello missing out Watkin, Roberts. Ooh, that's a good team tackle right there, both of them. Good for the Wells player. The Welsh player to run through that. Watch him. Look at him accelerate. He has no no fear. He's accelerates straight through him. It's just that they both just held him up. It's hard running through two two people. Boom! But he took off. He accelerated without fear, without hesitation. That's pretty. Fiku. Boom! Good tackle. Pano got drug down on the outside. Ugh. Head across the hip. He hit him on the outside, and it's just. See how his hip shot out towards the sideline? Boom. Went through him. Was able to wrap that wrap that inside leg. And it's just positioning took him out of bounds. Able to force that line out. Mitchell. Beautiful. Mmm. Same. Beautiful play. He's already turning, so he's off balance right here. And he's going for the wrap. And he's just going to fall straight over his hands. Teddy. Boop. Yep. Textbook. Very quickly to Stewart. Oh, you know, Monty. Monty's a freaking animal. I like this guy, man. I really like Monty. But also, they must be mindful. Otoji, just a bigger man. <laughs> that was just a bigger man. And he caught him off balance. That's all. Yeah, that's just a bigger man right there. And he tried to hold on so he didn't get knocked on. Off in midfield there. Russell just held back. It's a pretty tackle. Just to hold on and just you missed the missed the the higher tackle. Kept on going and just grabbed that ankle and just pull back. Real Dyer is an animal. Good tackle, Manicello. Manicello. Slade. I remember this one. Right when he kicked it, he took off full speed uh, towards the Italian side, and he just ran through him. Boom! Look at that! That's so pretty. I gotta go back. Brex is a—he had a hell of a tournament. Look at him! From the second he kicked it, boom! So he kicks it with his left. Watch him it just completely accelerate. It looks like everybody else is standing still. See, everybody else is just waiting. He takes off. Again. Boom, 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 that boom. Looking at it. He's tracking. He's tracking the ball. He's looking up. He's look. He's spotting, and he's he's looking at the at the player. So he's tracking the ball and spotting and seeing exactly where he is so he knows where to accelerate that contact Traction. and initiate it. Keeps going. Indeed, boom. Jumps through him. Great tackle. Initiates the contact right at the chest level. He's receiving the ball. Great job to receive that with, uh, you know, the defense bearing down. And he just runs straight through him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. That transfer of energy. You see his body just like go back. As far as you can see, like the ripples in a sense go through those through somebody else's chest. And he just gets his head on the on the outside shoulder, drives oh, through. Boom! Insane. Oh, Great technique. Yeah, I was very good. Underhill. Here's Nick Tompkins. Josh Adams. Good tackle. Just a little bit off balance right there. Uh. Yeah, oh, that was like they offset each other on this one in a sense. Oh, yeah, see, offset him. He just, number 15 from Ireland, just initiated enough, but he got bowled over, really. But he caught him off low enough because he was the lower man that threw his legs back and threw him off balance. Good power. It's a pretty tackle. It's good pursuit from a big man. Very good pursuit from a big man. Wells had a really good defensive year in Six Nations this year. We got him stepping out. That's a such a heads-up play, man. Such a heads-up play. And... 
just so much no fear like I love the no fear of contact right there Wells played a very good defensive year I know they had their letdown but they had a they had a good year man they're young and they're they're fiery this is a beautiful tackle by that young man Russell again that lovely action good the tackle takes it like a piece of gold just that little stutter but the defense and got the knock on <laughs> Look at that from Lowe. Lowe did a great job to play the pitch man. So like, I'll go back. So in American football, look at him take off. He's already accelerating. Everybody else is playing down the line. You can see their positioning. They're trying to they're trying to create the angle backwards just to you know make up for any ground ground that's going to be gained from a from a full speed sprint. But you see Lowe. He's the only man attacking because he sees the pass coming. So in American football. What we're talking about, when you're, if you're playing like a defensive end position in um, in football, so you're like the D end, or you're even the outside linebacker, there's a formation that the offense runs called the triple option. And basically, uh, the quarterback has three options. They can hand it off to the full, so it's like a quarterback, it goes quarterback, fullback, running back. And depending on what side they run to, you can either, the quarterback can take the, take the snap, hand it off to the fullback, the fullback takes it up the gut, or the quarterback can, you know, pull it from the fullback. The fullback runs through the middle just to create a little bit of confusion. He sprint the quarterback sprints on the outside with the running back, and he can pitch it out to the running back if there's space. And then also the third option is the the quarterback doesn't hand it off to anybody. He fakes a pitch and takes it off upfield, sort of just like a dummy in in rugby. And so from a defensive standpoint, when you're trying to fin that play, you have usually the defensive end is reading the quarterback. So you wanna you wanna have your defensive end reading that quarterback and trying to break up that pitch, break up that pitch if it's gonna happen. And you have your outside linebacker playing the pitch man, which is usually the running back, and the middle linebacker is usually playing the fullback, like spying them, so to say, so to speak. And so from here. You have James Lowe, who did an exceptional job of doing almost all those positions in once. He's spying. He looks at the, the pitch man right here. He pitches it. And so this guy, I, in this sense, would be like a fullback. He receives the ball. See how Lowe's positioning? I always talk about the positioning of the hips, how his hips are facing towards the try area. So he's still square to the line of scrimmage. Uh, I say line of scrimmage is American football. is just how our line is, but like a rugby line. Instead of his hips facing the sideline, which puts him out of position and leaves this back lane open. And so he's still square. He's reading the, the, care, the ball carrier at this point and playing to see what happens. He reads him. He sees that he's going he's gonna to pass it out. Then he initiates and takes off towards the pitch man, which is essentially like the running back in American football, and then goes and initiates the contact and tackle and just drives straight through him. That's just an exceptional play on Lowe's part to essentially do three jobs in one. You know, I mentioned how we have our middle linebacker looking at the fullback, our defensive end looking at the quarterback, and our outside linebacker looking at the running back. James Lowe essentially did all that in this one play. He looked at the pass happening. He got the re he saw the the receiver uh, catch the ball and then played him and then the essentially the, the man who pitched it back out further out on the on the edge and then he attacked the the ball carrier and just drove straight through him. And that was an amazing play because you could tell he was just attacking the line instead of like straying more backwards. Incredible job by Lowe. He had a hell of a game. And then to create the turnover by you know not allowing France to release the ball held him up it's a great play beautiful I own Dewani Monty Monty's a beast it's a big man running look at that Josh I love that play I love that play look at him so look him that's a beast right there he's probably six eight Six 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 eight somewhere around there. I have to look at his stats, but look at him. He's already initiating contact. He's already he's already dropped his center of mass. His his pad level essentially dropped. He's aiming straight at that hip. His head's up. That's what I talk about. Like his head is up initially when he's initiating that contact. He gets behind him, wraps that that inside leg. Boom. He's just trying to jump over him and just create separation or just break away from that tackle. But his wrap is so strong. And when you go off balance, like if you leave your feet. You're most likely going to get tackled. If he stayed on his feet, maybe he had a better chance of, of staying up. But that little jump threw him off balance. 
and then Rico, or Rico, I mean Monty, um, Yuani, got the wrap on both legs, and that foot has nowhere to go, and he just takes him down. He pulls that inside leg out, and the other leg gets wrapped up, and it's <laughs> what a play! What a play! Fiku. Juhan with a nice tackle. He just brought him down. He just set back essentially and set on his ankle. Essentially. It's a good play. See? It's like uh that's like a sort of like a horse collar tackle in American football. You just basically sit on somebody's you use their weight against them, you sit on the back of their heels. Uh in a tackle it's a, it's illegal in american football now it's a, it's known as a horse collar tackle but that's essentially what he's doing he's taking um Fuku's weight and from the back and just sitting on his ankles because right when he picks his legs up duhan's dropping his weight and Fuku's trying to run forward and so he when you run forward and he lifts his legs he doesn't have enough strength to outpower that one and that's why he just falls boom Nice. Woo, what a good tackle. And Varney had a hell of a tournament. Varney had a hell of a tournament. Look at that. Boom. He hits him a little high. He's lucky he didn't get bowled over and just completely pushed off. Because if you're looking, he's leaning into him. It's a bigger man. It's more powerful. And so he sort of gets, you know, knocked off his feet in a sense. But he does a good job to, to stay on him and stick to him like, like glue. He wraps his leg essentially with his uh, like a like a not like a trip, but he wraps his leg like um like an MMA fighter, brings him down. But then Varney does a fantastic job. He's he has a chance to, to get the ground. He crawls over him and keeps the ball lifted. Oh my gosh, what a play! Punches it out. What a what a play! Varney had a hell of a Six Nations. Duhan's willing. Yep. That was a good play by Duhan. Just good pursuit. Monty, wow. It's a beast. What a tackle. Scotland had a Scotland had a a tough defense. Scotland played very well, man. I think. Just they were too inconsistent, but they played some really solid ball, man. So close. that push off the other side that he just couldn't do. Got it knocked out. Garbisi, Puzo. There's Mori on the floor. Along with Cavalzo now. He is putting himself about today. I realize it's a big weight disparity. I missed that tackle, yeah. It just got a. Throw uh, through, through him. Yep. Can they grab this back as Jones gets it to kick off? And he's got Price inside. Beautiful. As Price goes outside. The defense did get across here. Italy played a solid game this match. Beautiful. Capuzzo. Mm. Nice low tackle. It's a groove. It's a nice gang tackle right there. That's a nice tackle. Just a low hit. It's good. Nice. Just a bigger man. Them, never taken those big massive McCarthy. Look at those legs line. just drive through him. Just drag yeah, Garbisi is a smaller Doris, man. Lovely, Beautiful tackle. Doris. Beautiful, just Doris. stood his ground Doris. hard. Doris. Nice Doris. low. Just, that ankle wrap Doris. is Doris. so hard to break out of those tackles once somebody just hog ties you like that. Good interplay, good linking. Now the space. Elliot D back and field to the real dire. Oh man! Great covering tackle, but Wales within four. Good recovery. But Thomas Williams can fly, but Vincent had a little bit of momentum. With Very good well, recovery. Shifting. Great cover they tried tackle. To, tried to throw him off a little bit. That was an awesome video. Thank you for that, Andrew. That was good. You know I absolutely love tackling. I love big hits. I love defense. That's I'm, I'm a defensive-minded athlete playing um, defense my entire life. Middle linebacker, I played defensive end, nose tackle, and ended my career playing strong safety in college. And just watching those plays, just seeing the technique of, of some of those tackles is just so much fun for me to watch and break down. And I just really love the science of defense. It's so much that goes into it because 
a defender you're playing on your heels you're anticipating right it's all about from uh from we say the offensive side i understand the rugby say the attacking side um from the attacking side of the ball you you know what's going on in a sense from an american standpoint what plays are going to transpire but from the defensive side that's why the hardest positions in football or the cornerback because the cornerback is on their heels they're anticipating what the receiver is going to do making a break and trying to trying to defend that is the hardest play is the hardest position in in football and watching how these athletes were able to you know adjust their body and create the create that defense was absolutely exceptional and just the power to bring some of these men down like you saw some of the size disadvantages but like from from varney uh, as an example for him to make that tackle even though he gets caught a little bit off, off off balance to have that tenacity to fight through and bring a man down it takes a lot of heart you have to have like a, a lot of grit to play the defensive side of the ball because it takes an un unmeasurable amount of heart, you know, to put yourself on the line like that because it's not natural. It's not natural to hit another human that hard, that fast, and um, that violently. And so that's why I absolutely love defense. I love the breakdown and technique of it. And I've just been learning from, from you all, and I'm going to continue to do more research on rugby tackling techniques and how they differ from American or football tackling or American football tackling techniques because as I've mentioned in other videos, we're taught to get our head across the ball and and tackle you get the hips of course staying low driving through somebody and initiating that contact and tackle and in football we're allowed to hit in so many different angles so we can hit you from any angle that that you can imagine and rugby isn't as um, dynamic with the tackling it's sort of I think it's it's a lot easier to judge where the tackles are coming from because you all have uh, so many rules set in place to where it's like at the torso level, even like the lower the lower hits that like you rarely see them. But I feel like just like I really want to study the differences now of how rugby athletes are taught to tackle compared to American athletes are taught to tackle and just view um, which which is preferred, right? Like whether it's you know padded or not, there's so many crossovers to being uh being a solid tackler having good good technique and ability to to make those make those plays happen so it's absolutely fun learning this and six nations was absolutely incredible incredible to watch thank you andrew ford for that video be sure to check his link in our descriptions below and i love you crew i appreciate you if you like this video drop a like hit the sub to stay informed on the new videos that we're dropping so you don't miss out on our new rugby content crew i love you i appreciate you we'll catch you on the next video always stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision and remember Remember that you're in control. Much love, crew. Peace.